Thank you. Well, it's Friday and John Brown is in your town. He is live in Deland tonight. And John, that area is really taking off. Oh, it really is. Where we are right now is called Artisan Alley. This used to be kind of a rundown alley, but the owner of the local newspaper said, we need to fix this area up. So now every Friday night, you have a big farmer's market like this with thousands of people showing up. Even the brewery right over there, it's called Persimmon Hollow. Trivia time, that's the original name of Deland. We'll have more of that coming up. And The Nest. Luann, you would love this shop. They have food, they have wine, they have shopping, they have everything. It's Cinco de Mayo. Hey, guys, hey. good to see you. So we're going to check in with them. We're going to check in with the mayor of Deland. We have the president of Stetson University. And name it, the most famous movie shot in this area. We have that coming up as well. John Brown in your town on a Friday here on Fox 35. Can't wait for you to show us around some more, John. Thank hey, and John Brown is in your town to land. Did you know that that city has more theaters and art galleries than most cities here in Florida? Yeah, the city won several awards, including the American Main Street Contest in 2017. And John joins us live today in another area getting lots of attention. What do you got, JB? <laughs> Well, I got Zoe right here. I just met Zoe and her family. Like like most people out here, good to see you guys. You know, this area is booming. You have people grabbing dinner out here tonight. This is Artisan Alley. Again, it used to be kind of a vacant alley, but now it's come to life. You got people dining. You have all sorts of shops. They're having the farmer's market tonight. And so this area is on fire. Now, a little history here. This town about, uh, about 20 years ago was about 20,000 people. Now we're talking 40,000 people. That's a lot of growth. If you talk to the locals, that's good and bad. It's good because the area is growing. It's bad because it can get a little little congestion. So we caught up with the mayor earlier this week right up there on the main street to talk about how this area is doing the right things right now. Well, I'd love for the city to take the credit, but you know, it, it really has to do with our our downtown business owners, our young entrepreneurs who have really come through with some more hip trendy uh, establishments that have attracted the, the younger generations to to our senior citizens alike. So I know a lot of downtowns when they grow like this, the next thing they need to do is get people living down here. Are you guys looking at that down the road as well? We are, and it's not so much down the road as it's happening right now. Um, just uh, about two blocks to the south here, uh, we'll see our first set of apartments. Um, they're, they're already doing the civil engineering, the, the groundwork, and um, in the next couple of months, we'll start to see those be constructed. And one other big trend we hear all the time, walkability. Now we see people walking their dogs right here. It's like so many people out walking. Was that a big factor for you guys and how you move forward to making sure that it's all connected to the university, to Main Street, to the Artisan Alley? Is that a part of the thinking here? It absolutely is. Um, and with the, the help of local groups like the River to Sea Loop Alliance, um, we're looking at identifying ways that we can make that even better. Um, in particular, connecting to our Sunrail station that'll be coming uh, next year. Mr. Mayor, thanks again for having us out here today. Thank you. <laughs> and we also have a little bit of, I guess, breaking news in one way. We're talking about all the traffic that's around this area. One of the most congested areas here is just uh, maybe a couple of miles west of us. It's State Road 44 that goes across the St. Johns River. It's been a drawbridge for decades, like five, five decades at this point. Well, if you live up here, you know the new bridge that's going in. We talked to FDOT a couple of days ago, and they tell us that that is now set to open before the end of the year. That's going to alleviate some of the traffic congestion there. It's kind of sad, too, because they're going to get rid of that drawbridge. But people who live here say, no, that's good news, because it gets so jammed up at times. So again, you got that growth taking place up here, and it's it's growing. It's working, because all the people coming down here, you can see people having dinner. Hi, guys. Everybody over in DeLand tonight. You got folks over there. You got people shopping. You're going to have a concert coming up later on tonight. So Ray and Luann, this is one of those cool towns where it just seems like everything is going right and everybody's coming this way. So it's kind of fun to get out and see all these positive developments happening in these cities all across Central Florida. So again, it's John Brown in your town, DeLand edition, right here on Fox 35. Back to you guys. And it looks like there are a lot of cool booths there, John, all those things I see right behind you. I'm guessing local artists and stuff well, like that. Yeah, yeah. And that's cool, Ray, because you just made a great point. You're thinking ahead. I like how you think because <laughs> Mother's Day is coming up in a couple ah, of weeks, right? Exactly. So, right, you can come out here, shop local, and it starts at 6. It's going to go on 6 to 9, so there's going to be a lot of people, lots of things you can get for mom coming up in just a couple of weeks. How about that idea? Yeah, Sounds it's actually uh, a week from Sunday, so get mom a gift. Don't forget Mother's Day. All right, John, good stuff. We'll check back with you in a little bit here. So overall, this weekend will not be a washout, and that's great news if you have any outdoor plans like John Brown right now enjoying the land. It is John Brown in your town and John the skies look cloudy but the scenes look bright.
Oh, it's perfect out here, Brooks. You're looking at Da Vinci Garden. This is Cafe Da Vinci. It's another cool spot here right off of Artisan Alley. Not only is this a cool spot for concerts, this is where the Chamber of Commerce meets. Well, kind of. All right, let's call the session in order. Good to see you guys. Hi, everybody. Hi, Cody. Hi. All right, tonight, Cinco de Mayo, what's going on right over here? We got a band playing at nine. We got cold drinks. We're gonna have a big party here. Cause it's Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Look at that. Even got the little uh, little umbrella in my drink. Thank you, Cody. Good to see you. Hey, another cool thing out here. Look back over there. The pool table inside that building. How cool is this place? I came out here a couple of weeks ago and uh, came out for about an hour. And you know the story. I stayed for about five. I love it out here, and the farmer's market kicking off at 6 o'clock. It's going until 9 o'clock tonight, then the concert. So if you're thinking, what should I do tonight? Come to downtown DeLand, because that's where John Brown and your town is tonight, for good reason. Lou, Ray, we'll send it back to you guys. Everyone wants to be where John is. Well, it's Friday, and that means it's time for John Brown in your town. And today, John joins us live from DeLand. And John, a lot of people have called DeLand the perfect little town. It's so quaint, and it really does have a little bit of everything there. Yeah, it really does. It has such a cool vibe here, Luann, especially on a Friday when they're having the artisan marketplace that's taking place kind of right behind Persimmon Hollow, which is where we are right now. It's a great little establishment here, not too far from Stetson University. So you have the university vibe going here. You're about 30 minutes away from the beach, uh, less than an hour away from all the Orlando attractions. So this really is a cool place. But it's time for trivia. First of all, I want to introduce you to Barley. That's Barley there. Why do you think he got the name? I don't know if we can allow that on TV, but... I, okay, he, Barley likes his beer. That's where he got the name. Okay, time for a little trivia, DeLand edition. The most famous movies shot here in DeLand. All right, do you remember this famous one? Ghost Story, starring Fred Astaire. They also had the HBO series From the Earth to the Moon shot on the campus of Stetson University. You also had Days of Thunder, and that was starring Tom Cruise. I just talked to somebody who said they met Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman when they were here. And then you have the classic, the most famous movie shot in DeLand, it is Adam Sandler's The Waterboy, shot in 1998. The classic scenes were shot at Stetson University. The downtown scene was shot all around the town. And the football scenes were shot mostly at Spec Martin Stadium right here in DeLand. So all sorts of trivia. By the way, the name of the bar here, you see this right here? This is Persimmon Hollow. That's the name of this establishment. This is the brewery. That's the original name of DeLand. But a town not too far from here, Luann, this is a great piece of trivia, too. Henry DeLand, of course, is what the town is named after, DeLand. His daughter was named Helen, thus Lake Helen, just across the highway over by Casadega. So don't ever say you didn't learn anything in John Brown in your town. Coming up in a little bit, we're going to take you back over to the, uh, the marketplace where it's really going crazy. Lots of people here, and we're also going to catch up with the president of Stetson University. It's John Brown in your town. Cheers to you. Cheers, Cheers Barley. Cheers, guys. Happy Cinco de Mayo. We're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Wow, John. You just have a plethora of cool fun facts today. I love all that water boy. I do, too. I, love, I well, just love the yeah, scenes we're seeing, cool. too. Well, the little Barley, he's the showstopper right <laughs> there. Is. Well, John Brown has been in several local towns over the past several months. You can see all of his stories on our website. Just go to fox35orlando.com and click on the We Love Florida link and then scroll down to the John Brown in your town section. Well, one of the most important assets in DeLand is Stetson University. It is the oldest private college in the state of Florida. It's also one of the biggest employers and biggest economic drivers for that city. Fox 35's John Brown takes us to campus for a look at how town and gown make the city tick. Well, John Brown in your town has made our way over to Stetson University. Beautiful campus, and we've caught up with the president, Chris Rocky. Good to see you. Appreciate you having us out here today. Thanks so much for having us. So first of all, explain the connection and the synergy between the city of DeLand and Stetson University, because it's such a cool vibe up here. It's great. Well, we've been neighbors since 1883, and one of the things that uh, Henry DeLand really cared about when he founded the city of DeLand was arts, culture, and education. And so we've had a strong relationship ever since that time in 1883. We share a baseball stadium with the city. We share a football stadium with the city city and the relationship is really synergistic. Yeah, and the guy next to me, by the way, John B. I, like I said, I've had this guy's bobblehead on my desk for years since we did a show up here. I find it interesting that people don't know the Stetson hat guy is this school. Do you find that interesting that people don't realize the, that connection? There? I think it's I think it's terrific, and we are the Hatters, uh, yeah. one of the best nicknames in college sports. 
uh, one of the most famous hat makers uh, in history. Yeah. And uh, just was very, very generous. And his family and descendants continue to be generous to Stetson moving forward. We have this extraordinary Sandra Stetson Aquatic Center on Lake Beresford. And so the Stetson family continues to be near and dear in our hearts. So small school, about 4,000 students yep. and all combined here. What are some of the challenges you face? Because the bigger universities are getting bigger and bigger and they have the money coming in. What are the challenges you guys face in a university this size? It's a great question, John. And, and I guess what I would say is this, is that a lot of regional universities of our size really struggled during the public health crisis over the last few years. Uh, especially we have residentiality is an important part of what we do here, but we are rebounding beautiful, beautifully. I like to say Stetson is back, baby. <laughs> Uh, we really are. And uh, the way we've navigated that, when I was in New York uh, at Vassar College in Poughkeepsie, New York, to become the president on July 1st, 2020. So if you go back, that's an interesting time to start, right? right? Uh, I can only think of three things to tell my new community. Kindness, empathy, and shared ownership. Those things, I think, carried us through that difficult time, and they continue to drive us today. We have had an unprecedented level of investment in Stetson University over the last two years. We're exceeding over $60 million in fundraising this year. So people are investing in this very form of education in an unprecedented way, and that's been energizing to all of us. Well, Chris, thanks for making time for with us today. Hey, Appreciate thanks it. so all much, right. and go Hatters. <laughs> Yeah, you heard what he had to say. Go Hatters. By the way, this weekend is also graduation weekend at Stetson University, so a lot of families are in town for that. And it's also Cinco de Mayo. And Ray and Luann, sometimes I feel underdressed for an occasion. We have Ty right here. Ty, who are you wearing? Frazier. Oh, that's Frazier. Very nice. I love that one. And Bill, where are you from, Bill? Mexico. Hey, guys, he's from Mexico. Mexico, Missouri, close to my hometown, but it's Cinco de Mayo, so it counts. Bill, thanks for coming out today. So again, this is the nest. It's one of the many locations here along Artisan Alley, and we said it was going to get crowded. Evan, look down that way. We told you this place gets crowded on a Friday night, so there's a lot of time to come out here. We're only going to be here for about another half hour, but this thing goes on until 9 o'clock, so come on down. This place is spectacular, great place to buy a Mother's Day gift, get dinner, everything you need on this Cinco de Mayo. It's John Brown in your town. We'll send it back to you guys. Yeah, John, we're going to have to get you a kilt, but I'm not sure anyone wants to see those legs of yours. They're like transparent. Well, look at that. He's got the good socks. Yeah, <laughs> see? That's, that's nice. I can wear the socks. Looks like they're having a great time out there. John, thank you. Thank you so much. It was great to learn about Deland today. Well, it is Cinco de Mayo, and right now, John Brown is in your town. John, John's in Deland, and you're having a ball. How's it, how's it going out there? It looks like a pretty big event. Oh, Brooks, this is a massive event. It's gotten bigger and bigger over the years. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to see on TV just how big an event like this is. So take, for example, it's another half block that way. You have all these vendors. You got the West Volusia Beacon newspaper right there. You've got all sorts of sweets. You got snacks. You also have food on this side. You got Big Dog back there. Hey, Big Dog. He's got the barbecue going back here. You got all sorts of food vendors. <laughs> I'm not her. Uh, you got some, they got things over here. They got uh, holistic health in this one. So we're trying to walk our way through here and give you guys a perspective of just how big it is. You got marshmallows right here. I'll take that one. Thank you. And you also have sweets, right? I'm shopping for Mother's Day. Thank you. I'll be back to pay. And so again, then it goes on this way and Brooks, it goes this way for another half block, then each and every way for another half block. So yeah, it's gotten big. This farmer's market here in Deland and Artisan um, Alley is really taken off. So if you, there's still time to come down tonight. They're open until nine o'clock, then they have a band playing across the street tonight. So there's a lot going on. I wish we could stay all night, but we can't. I gotta get back and do the news tonight, but it's John Brown in your town, Deland edition right here on Fox 35 News. And John Brown was in your town today. And John, you got time. to meet the big man on campus. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. We are talking about the man leading the Hatters on the hardwood. Take a look. The Stetson Hatters can sense the magnitude of the moment. Coach, thanks for having us up here today. Thanks, Appreciate John. it. Wow, okay, so this is a change. You were at UCF for several years. What's it like coming to a school like Stetson University? Oh, well, it's a special place. Uh, beautiful campus, great people. You know, a university I think is big enough uh, to be able to do a lot of great things, but small enough to care. Uh, just think of so much life here and uh, such a great 
family atmosphere. Now, you brought a winning culture here, too, and I, I don't think a lot of people know this, but you guys had a great year. Beat Florida State. Stetson upsets Florida State on opening night in Tallahassee. And a lot of big wins. One of the best seasons you guys have had, right? Yeah, one of our best seasons probably in the last 35 years. You know, had a great culture in the early years with Glenn Wilkes and uh, had a great win over South Florida. So it's just a great uh, momentum builder for our team. What's it like coming from a big university to someplace like this? When it comes to recruiting, when it comes to facilities, uh, I know a lot less pressure, which I, uh, we could all enjoy at Absolutely. some point. So what is that like for the transition for you? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, there's a lot of similarities. Uh, you still got a lot of kids here. You know, they all have aspirations to play an NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. And what a March Madness could do for a school, as we've seen like a lot of these small schools have won. Uh, what it could do for a community, uh, what it could do for everything. But it's still very similar. You know, you got a lot of kids that love basketball. They want to play in the NCAA tournament. They all think they can play in the NBA someday. <laughs> and, and so you're just trying to create a culture of greatness and excitement in a place where uh, good things can happen. So you had a great season this season, and you got a big guy, right, coming in? We do. We seven do. foot? Seven foot. Seven foot transfer. Uh, uh, that'll be Robin Trayton Thompson uh, from the University of Minnesota. Uh, he'll bring some size and athleticism to go uh, along with our guard play. Sum it up for people who aren't familiar with a college like this, in a town like this, th they get it like you do now. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, everybody knows your name, as I mentioned earlier. It's a place where we see each other. Uh, it's a chance where our basketball team cheers for the women's team, for the beach volleyball team. It's like one big community, and I think that's what makes it unique here. We've got great leadership and President Rokey, our athletic department, just got a great vibe. Uh, with our people here, our coaches, to cheer for each other. Anytime you can have that unity in a small atmosphere like this, it's, it's unique uh, and much better than obviously being at a bigger school where you're just another student on campus. Yeah, all right, summer's almost here. Big season ahead. Coach, thanks for having us out today. Thanks, Great John. To see you. Great all to right, be with talk you. Talk to you soon. I think it surprises a lot of people. They beat Florida State. I they have beat no South idea. Florida. And it's a school of 4,000 total, but on campus alone, it's probably closer to 2,500, 3,000. Wow, so they're doing it's a big, big things. Win. And the seven footer coming from Minnesota. Oh, Which hey. is, yeah, he's from Minnesota. So just. Hopefully that'll help you right? advance even oh, further. Oh, that's great. Good so stuff. great campus, and he's having a blast up there, too.